Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you what a QNED TV is and how it uses quantum physics to make an image on your screen. And I'd like to thank LG for sponsoring this video. They actually sent me their new QNED mini LED TV so I could show you some of the cool science behind how it works. Originally TVs used cathode ray tubes, also called vacuum tubes, to shoot electrons that would hit a specific point or phosphor on the screen to light it up. These were really fun to play with because you could change where the electrons would hit by moving magnets close to it but they were huge and heavy and didn't have high resolution. Then after that, plasma TVs were invented. They used fluorescent lights in the primary colors of red, green, and blue. But even though plasma TVs were better, they were still rather large and they lacked the resolution and color that modern TVs have. Then the LCD TV was brought to market. LCD screens use liquid crystals that respond to electric stimulus to let polarized light through or not. So in between these two pieces of plastic are actually some liquid crystals. And if I apply a voltage to it, it'll change how the liquid crystals are letting light pass through. So I can make it become opaque or transparent depending on if I'm passing electricity through it or not. Original LCD screens had big fluorescent lights at the back that provided light for each pixel. But since the LCD screens had a large backlight, that means that they couldn't really show true black because it lit some of the light surrounding each pixel bleed through. So then LED TVs were introduced. These were still liquid crystal displays, but they used many individual LEDs as the backlight so that you can control specific areas that you want to dim. And the smaller you can make the LEDs, the better picture quality you end up with in the end. This is because the decreased size means you can fit more per area, so it's brighter and you get more uniform screen brightness. You can also control smaller areas of the screen so that you can improve black levels and decrease halo effects. So with LG's new QNED mini LED TV, they now have as many as 30,000 individual LEDs with 2,400 dimming zones to get much deeper black and better contrast. Now what about the color of the TV? In order to create all the colors we see in the TV, we need to start with red, green, and blue light. Red, green, and blue light can be combined at different levels to create almost any color in the spectrum. To make the red, green, and blue pixels on a typical LCD screen, you start with white LED light, and then after it goes through the liquid crystal, the light goes through a color filter to make it red, green, or blue light. But the problem with this is that you lose a lot of light when it goes through a filter. That's because with a red filter, for example, it's just absorbing all the blue and green light, letting the red light pass through. So you're losing about two-thirds of your light. So what if there was a way to convert the incoming light directly to another color? Well, it turns out there's a way to do this with something called quantum dots. So I have some vials of cadmium telluride. You can see here that each of these vials look a different color, but they are actually all made out of the same material. The only difference is the size of the particles. The red is the largest and the green is the smallest. The way they work is these particles are so small that the individual particles act like single atoms. For any atom, when you excite it by giving it energy, it will push an electron to a higher energy level. And when it falls back down to its original state, it will give off a photon of light. The color of light it gives off is unique to that atom. So quantum dots are basically like artificial atoms that you can tweak the size in order to give off the exact color that you want. So to light up these quantum dots, I just need to excite them with a frequency of light that's higher than any of the light they're giving off. Then once they're excited, they'll convert that light to a lower energy photon of some different color, be it red or green. So the nice thing about these quantum dots is that they're much more efficient than filters because they directly convert the light to a different color. They aren't blocking any light. For example, if I use ultraviolet light, I can get all these lower frequencies to come off of the quantum dots depending on their size. But I don't have to use ultraviolet light. For example, I can just use this blue light bulb here. And then this blue light can easily be converted to something with lower energy like green light coming off of this vial here. So what LG has done is put these quantum dots inside their TVs to create the colored pixels. So they start with blue LED light and then pass that light through an area with red quantum dots and green quantum dots that convert the blue light into red or green. And in the area that has no quantum dots, the blue light just passes through. Then this color light passes through what they call NanoCell Plus technology to filter out any unwanted light. So with quantum dots plus their NanoCell Plus technology, you end up with the exact colors you want with a high light efficiency that expands the color gamut of the TV. And using a vast visual audio data points, the deep learning algorithm recognizes content quality and analyzes the content's picture and sound quality for an automatic optimization. Also, what's cool with the TV, in filmmaker mode, it turns off motion smoothing and other processing features on the TV and while preserving the original aspect ratios, colors, and frame rates. 
This delivers the director's original vision so you experience the film in the way it was intended. So if you want to check out the QNED Mini LED TV for yourself, click the link in my description. And thanks to LG again for sponsoring this video. And thanks again for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. And check out Action Lab Shorts, which is a second channel I have where I do videos similar to this channel, but in a much shorter amount of time in less than a minute. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.